One in 20,000 Canadians suffers from Williams syndrome. It is a rare genetic condition that causes medical and developmental problems. But one young woman from Point Claire is overcoming the challenges and finding her place in life. As Deborah Arbeck explains in this special report, a school in Massachusetts is helping her to hone a gift many people with Williams seem to share. Lisa Walsh yearns to fit in. She was born with Williams syndrome, a rare genetic condition that sets her apart. Uh, she was about 14 months old, and uh, we were noticing she wasn't uh, sort of reaching the usual developmental milestones. Come away. Lisa faces a range of medical problems. Simple tasks can be monumental. She's also gregarious and affectionate. Thank you. People with Williams are very socially engaged. Uh, they love communicating with other people. Now at 22, Lisa's getting ready to leave home. She's heading to a brand new school in Massachusetts. And if your roommate has a shirt just like that, you got to look for your name, right? Okay. So when you go to this new school, mm -hmm. your mom's not going to be there. No, she's gonna, she's gonna say goodbye and then come and get me, and I will come home for Christmas as well. So that's a long time. If that is a long time. Yeah. You're gonna miss her. Yep. Do you think you'll be okay? Yep. This is Berkshire Hills Academy, Lisa's home away from home for the past month. The focus here is on the students' abilities, not their disabilities. And the driving force is music. Lisa is a born performer. Singing to an audience is second nature. She's believed to have perfect pitch, but can't be tested because she can't read music. She can memorize a song after hearing it only once or twice, hit and reproduce a note intuitively. Yet, she can't tell time. What time does your next class start? At uh, 2. At 2 or 1230? 12 12.30. Researchers suspect Lisa can't tell time because she doesn't care what time it is. She remembers music because it's her passion. It seems as though things are stored more strongly and more easily retrievable when you have an emotional involvement with them. The school uses that love of music as a motivator. If we really need to focus the group, all you have to do is start playing any little piece of music and they're instantly riveted and back with you 100%. Oh, yeah. Music is also used to teach students life skills. And we're learning that if we teach a song that they can use about how they shampoo for a few minutes and then do this for a few minutes and rinse off. If they, we teach it through music, through a song, that's something they can take with them always and it's always there with them. Good to see you. Mm. Boy, we missed you. Lisa's first four weeks away from home have flown by. It's, it's, been, uh, it's, been, hot. it's been really hard. I think, uh, although I'm adjusting, I'm getting lots of things done that I never had time to do before. Been to the bank. Um, I've been, I've been so many places to church and stuff mm -hmm. like that. In two years, Lisa will move on. She hopes one day to work with the elderly. But for now, she's enjoying her first taste of independence. And more importantly, she feels like she belongs. Deborah Arbeck, Pulse News, South Hadley, Massachusetts.